guys and welcome back to another vlog. I am still in Santa Teresa, Costa Rica. We're not staying at the La Pointe Surf Camp anymore. We were there for five weeks actually. We initially only wanted to stay there for one week but then we kept extending and extending and yeah. We ended up staying for five weeks because we had such a good time. And now we've actually found an Airbnb and we're sharing it with some friends because it's got three bedrooms. Um, so we can split it nicely. I'm really happy that we found this Airbnb because the location is great. It's in the center of Santa Teresa and it's really really cute as you can already see behind me. In today's video I'm going to show you what a day here in Costa Rica looks like for me. I'm going to take you with, show you what we get up to. First let me show you around the Airbnb a little bit. I'm not going to give you guys a big tour of the Airbnb because I feel like most of my vlogs are just tours of places but yeah the spot is nice so I wanted to show you quickly. And um, behind me we've got the area where we keep our surfboards. It's super convenient because we can just put them there and they're secure. And then if we go this way, we've got the pool, which I think is the nicest part about the Airbnb. Um, the pool and the hammock. I think, yeah, the outside area is just the best. If we go over here, super nice to chill and to have dinner and just relax in the evening. We've got a kitchen, super convenient for making food because if you're here for like a longer time, you don't want to eat out the entire time. Yeah, that's it. That's the tour of the place. Good morning, Julia. It's time to get up to go surfing. <laughs> it is quarter to six and we're about to go for a morning surf. Let's see what's going on here. Good morning. So my suit is actually kind of still wet from yesterday and I'm a little bit sore because yesterday we went surfing twice. We went in the morning and then we also went for a sunset surf. Um, so yeah, this is why the suit is still wet, but this one is so cute. I actually bought it in a shop here, which is called Pavo, and they've got really, really nice um, bikinis and like suits to surf in. It's got this really cool vintage print, and this looks like from the back, which is my favorite. Always gonna put lots of sunscreen here, but yeah. We're ready to go. We're gonna grab the boards now, put them on the quad, and then we're gonna go surf. Let's get the boards and put them on the quad. This board over there is Julia's, it's like a 7 4. She really liked it actually. And I got this one, it's really, really cool. I was gonna get a long board, but they didn't have, they were renting it to someone else, and this is like a, what is it called, minimal, like mid sized one. I think it's minimal. It's like an 8 6, but it's got a single fin. This is what it looks like. It's super fun to ride and it's cool with the single fin. It's kind of fat, like I wouldn't say fast, but I don't know. Before I had this really, really huge long board, so it feels faster than that one. Okay, the hard thing is getting out without the board. I'm just a for a happy so we've got this um, surfboard rack on our quad, which is nice to transport the surfboards. Um, the only problem is because we got two, so Julia has to sit at the back and like hold hers. And I don't think it's that easy if you've got a bigger board, like this is 8.6 and it kind of works, but I'm always a bit sketched out when I drive. There's like bumps in the roads and this board is shaking, but it does the job and it's been good so far. Just don't drive too quickly. This is Jefferson, everyone. His Instagram, we'll put it here. And he is gonna take some really nice videos of us today in the water. Yeah, he's the best surf photographer. And he's a bodyboarding champion. Oh, yeah.
got back from surfing and we took a shower and now we're gonna get breakfast. I'm actually so hungry and we're going to a place which is called Anis and there they have, in my opinion, the best acai bowl in Santa Teresa. It's so good because the portion size is really big, the consistency is so good and yeah, I'm so excited for it. So yeah, let's go. I'm just a sucker for a On this side we have the acai bowl and this one is the dark bowl. What's in the dark bowl again? Um, cacao, peanut butter, that sort of thing. Coconut. Coconut. The acai bowl is very good. I've had it before. It is delicious. <laughs> now we try the other one which I have never tried before. The dark bowl. Which, as the name suggests, is a bit darker. The consistency is looking good. It's like really nice and creamy. <laughs> I think it's very delicious too. Which one do you prefer? If you want chocolate, then get this one. But it's also like heavier, and this one's like fresher. But we have both, so Joel and I are gonna do half half, which is amazing because I hate sharing. <laughs> so you can draw a line. Now it's time to get some work done. I think a lot of people that just look at my Instagram could easily think that all I do every day is surf and chill by the beach, which really is not the case. I spend a majority of my day getting work done. I just don't really show that on Instagram that much because I always think it's not that interesting. And when I talk about work, for me that entails doing emails, so that's talking to clients, looking through contracts, planning shoots, editing photos, editing videos editing TikToks, um, getting YouTube content together. That's kind of what I do on a daily basis, pretty much. And I think something that takes so much time that Julia and I actually talked about the other day is doing Instagram posts and Instagram stories. I think I think a lot of people think I just like upload a picture or just like upload a story and that's it. But to be honest, Instagram posts will take me around like an hour to edit, like just a simple photo. It takes me like an hour to edit every day and uploading a story will take around like one to one and a half hours every day. I think it's different for every person. Some people literally they just like film a story and then they put it up. But for me I like take the video, I take the photo and then later on I edit it, I put filters on the videos, I add music and I feel like just getting everything together just takes some time so that takes me also like an hour every day. So yeah, those are some of the things I do on a daily basis. Today I'm going to be editing some photos, that's my number one priority um, because we took some pictures for a brand and I'm super happy with how the photos turn out. Um, I already made a selection, I import them into my Lightroom and now I just need to edit them and then I'm going to send the brand the selection, they will go through them, they'll let me know their favorites and yeah, that's what I'm going to start off with and afterwards I still have to go through some emails, I've got quite a lot of unread ones, right now it's 208 unread emails which is not ideal. So I'm gonna get to that too. These are the photos that I'm talking about. I really like how they turned out. I already applied my preset to them. Still need to crop some of them and then I'm gonna export them and send them to the brand. This is what the photo looked like before and here is the after. I actually made some new presets which I really like. They're kind of filmy, called them Costa Rica. I'm going to show you how I edited this photo. There's a picture before. I kind of like to shoot it a little bit darker because if it's too bright, like it's not that good because a lot of information gets lost. So I'd rather shoot a little bit too dark than too bright. Uh, I just increased the exposure. So now it's like a nice, nice brightness. And these are my Costa Rica presets. They're so nice. My preset shop is actually not live, but I'm planning to yeah, get it live again soon, which would be nice because I love these presets and I think you guys would love them too. But yeah, I like this one. I made this one, it's called Costa Rica one. Maybe I'll rename it, but I like it because it looks kind of filmy. Like I like the skin colors and the greens and the blue. Costa Rica two is kind of similar. I'm just playing around with some presets, but yeah. Then I just apply a preset usually. 
Um, and sometimes like I'll go into separate colors. For example, if I wouldn't like, you know, I kind of like the green here, but I could change it. Like I could make it less saturated to put down here and saturation thing. I put down the green saturation. Like you can play around with it. I kind of do that for every photo until I get a look that I like. Maybe increase like the blue a little bit. It just kind of depends like what you're going for. I like it like this and then I usually crop it. And what I would normally also do is I would like get rid of this tree and stuff and get rid of this, but I'm not gonna do it just yet because I would do that in Photoshop. I'm gonna send the brand all of the photos first and then once they tell me which one they like, I'm gonna go into the individual ones and take the time to get rid of all these like little things because that takes some time and I don't wanna do that. For all of these photos, I'd rather just send them the selection and um, properly edit the final ones. I'm also going to be editing some iPhone clips from that shoot and to edit my iPhone photos I usually use the Tezza app. I also like the one from Gypsy Lust. I think it's called Tone Studio but I think the Tezza one's just, I don't know, I think it's more organized. Um, so, oh, you can hear Julia's voice. I will just edit those videos too on my phone. This is actually my favorite video preset, the vintage one. It's super nice. So I'm going to go ahead and edit. These iPhone clips. I think this one is also cute. And just adjust it here. Yeah, that's the Tezza app that I like to use for my story videos. One time I actually did post a little bit more about my work on Instagram and I actually got a lot of DMs from people telling me that they found it really interesting and kind of asking me to share more about what I do for a living and how I'm able to travel and uh, work at the same time, kind of live that digital nomad lifestyle. Um, and I was really surprised because I thought people wouldn't really care so much about the work, like they just want to see the fun moments. Um, so yeah, I wanted to ask you guys if that's something that you find interesting that you want to see more of. Let me know in the comments if you want more behind the scenes of that, of my life as like a photographer, videographer, Instagrammer, that kind of vibe. I don't want to I don't like putting labels, I find it so weird when I tell people like I'm an Instagram or even like influencer, that word I don't like at all. Um, but yeah, let me know if you want to see more of that and then I can integrate it more into my upcoming videos. Hey guys, today we are going to be going to the waterfalls in Montezuma. When I was here last time, I went to the waterfalls twice because it's so beautiful and today I'm really excited to show Julia this place. The drive here is really incredible because you drive on these bumpy roads and it really feels like you're in the middle of nowhere. There's just like horses and some dogs and a few houses here and there, but it really feels like you're in the middle of nowhere. So it's really, really nice. And now we just parked our quad at a place called Sun Trails Lodge. So the past times I've been here, I've always parked the car here because the walk to the waterfalls from here is not very long. I think it's like 15 or 20 minutes, so it's super convenient. Um, so yeah, just put that in Google Maps, Sun Trails Lodge, and then now we're gonna head to the waterfall. We made it to the waterfall, which is right there. You can see it. Oh, you can see it. <laughs> and this is not a festival bracelet, in case you're wondering. It's the bracelet we had to pay like 2,000 kilometers for both of us to get here. And it's actually quite busy. Um, there's quite a lot of people there. Um, and we have to take some photos, so I don't know if we'll be able to, but I'm sure we'll find like a little quiet spot. And now it's like 2 o'clock, so it's quite busy. Maybe we should come earlier or later, but we'll find a way. It looks like Janine's put on some coconut oil, but that's just <laughs> pure sweat. So we've just decided that tomorrow we're going to be doing a little surf break. I think it's good to just take a day off once in a while and I'm also getting kind of sore. I feel my body getting sore, which is why today we're going to surf twice. We're about to go for a sunset surf. I prefer surfing in the morning because the waves are a lot cleaner and there's less people in the water. It gets pretty crowded around sunset and the wind kind of picks up throughout the day so it's a little bit choppy um, but it's just such a nice way to see the sunset so I mostly just go out to see the sunset from the water not actually for the surfing and we're going to be taking my iPhone water housing again which we've been using for most of the surf clips so far um, it's really really great so Julia and I are going to take turns one person's going to have the phone in the hand and film and the other person's going to surf 
So that should be fun. I hope it's going to be a nice sunset and yeah, let's go. So this here is my housing for my iPhone. It's from Aquatag and it's called Axis Go, I think. Um, it's for my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, I have a housing for my camera, but that one is currently not working. I think I need to um, change the cables around. But this one's really great for video because I think the iPhone does a really good job at like stabilizing the videos. So yeah, I like to use it for little clips in the water. I think it's great. And you can use it for so many other things than just surf. Um, you can also just do you know your usual iPhone clips with it in the water. And this actually doesn't come with it. It's the um, pistol grip but it connects to the phone's Bluetooth and makes it a lot easier to do um, video and photos. So we're actually just taking one board because one person's gonna swim with the iPhone housing and the other person's gonna surf, so we're gonna take turns. We'll probably have an argument in the water. What do you think, Julia? Yeah. Most likely we're gonna have a little fight, but yeah, that's how it goes if you wanna do some videos. So. super fun. Julia and I got some really nice waves and the sunset was so beautiful. I think it's the best way to watch the sunset when you're in the water. Like even if you were to catch no waves at all, I think it's just so stunning to be out there and to see it from the water. And now I'm super hungry. We are going to go to a soda, which is kind of like a local restaurant here in Costa Rica. Like I know in Bali, these places are called Barros. Barro? I don't know. I think that's how you say it. Um, and we actually haven't been to a soda yet, so that's where we're going to go tonight. We're going to get some traditional Costa Rican food. I'm super excited that we finally got to eat at a soda last night. Um, it's been on my to-do list the whole time we've been here. And the food was good, but it was a lot of food and I usually eat a lot, but that was just so much because it was like a big portion of rice. I thought it was just going to be the rice, but the rice also came with french fries. And when I get food, I have a hard time just like leaving it, so I ate everything. Julia and our friend didn't finish it, but I just you know, ate the whole thing. And afterwards, I felt so full, like it was not nice, it was just so, so full. But yeah, it was super nice, very vibey. Definitely more like young people than in the other like health food spots that Julia and I usually always go to. I kind of expected it to be a bit cheaper. I think the meal I had, I think it was like five euros, which is not expensive, but it's also not cheap, cheap. Like if you compare it to like the, what other places in Mali call it, I think they call it barongs or something there is just so incredibly cheap. I think that you pay like two years or even like the spots I went to in Sri Lanka was so so cheap. Um, that was not as cheap but like still cheaper than your usual restaurant. It was really good. I think next time I try something else, maybe something a little bit lighter because that was really like, a huge portion. I'm going to finish this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really really enjoy sharing more like surf content on here. I hope you guys like it too. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you very soon.